Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this fan grill. All right, let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. Fan grill is what we're going to call it. Okay. Start out on the top plane, create a center rectangle. I'm going to give it a dimension of 175. We're going to make both sides equal. Okay. All right. Going to use a center diameter circle. Make it 150 millimeters. What we're going to do now is going to create, use the line tool, start at this edge, drag it to this edge. I'm going to use the horizontal vertical constraint tool, select this point, select the center, fully defined. Now let's go ahead and use the rectangular pattern tool, select this line. And what we want to do. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make the quantity seven. Okay. And the distance, we want to make it about 10 millimeters. That's what the spacing is going to be. And we got the direction already set. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. You can use the mirror command. Select the previous lines we just created. And the mirror line is going to be this one. Click OK. Alrighty. Let's use the center diameter circle tool again. Start in the center and drag it to the locks to the, to the actual top right here. And you see the triangle and the X is fully defined. Okay, we're going to use the line tool again. Start a line at this edge and drag it all the way down to this edge. That's fully defined. Again, we're going to do the same thing up here, drag it to this edge, sort of follow that line down to here, and it's also fully defined. <clears throat> Alrighty. Next we want to do is add some fillets to the edges. We're going to make them 10 millimeters. Okay. And ignore the warning sign because we're going to fix that later. We got all four sides, click OK. All right. So what I want to do now to make sure it's fully defined again, I'm just going to dimension these two sides. Bring it up and just hit OK. All right, now it's fully defined again. Because initially we had the equal sign, but we can't use it again. So we'll go ahead and just dimension it. OK. I'm going to use the center diameter circle tool. The fillets gave us an actual point of reference, so we can actually Select that, we're going to make it five millimeters. Click OK. All right, and for this, we're going to use the circular pattern tool. Oops. All right, circular pattern, not rectangular pattern. I'm going to select this circle. Okay. Center point, we'll just select this circle right here. Okay. Actually, snap out one. Can't really see. Okay, there we go. Drag it out. So, angular spacing is going to be four. Quantity is going to be four. Okay. And we're not going to suppress anything. So, actually, let's start over. So, we're going to select the object. This is, oops. This is going to be the object. Center point is going to be the circle. Okay. And we want the quantity before, and we'll see that it's actually rotating around all four sides. Click OK. All right, and there you have it. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Just use the extrude command. 
select this profile right here. I'm going to exclude this about three millimeters. Click okay. All right. All right, what we want to do now is going to use the web command. We're going to bring back the previous sketch we had. Okay. And we're going to start selecting all of these lines. Let's hit the control key and select the lines. Select the intersecting lines as well. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and click OK. Actually, before we do that, let's check some parameters here. We want it to be one millimeter instead of two. For the thickness, depth will make 20 millimeters. And we flip the direction just to be sure that it starts on the opposite side and comes through. It should. Okay. All right. Click OK. Actually, I'll just check this out for a second. So if we select this, it'll, it'll extend the curves, but that's not what we want to do. We just want the profiles themselves. Select that and click OK. Deselect it and click OK. Okay. All right. What we want to do now is use the extrude feature again. Because what we want to do is select the center circle right here. This profile right here we want to select. Okay. We want it to join. Okay. And we'll just select for distance, it's going to be two object. We want to select the top face right here. And there you go. Click OK. All right. We can go ahead and turn off the sketch. We're going to go ahead and create a sketch in the front plane. OK. All right. Use the line command. And let's actually let's start out with the arc, three point arc. Okay. We we'll start at this edge here. We see the square, so we're good to go. Right here, and right here. And at this time, we're going to use the tangent tool. Select this arc and select that line. All right. It's fully defined. Okay. I'm going to use the line tool. Start here, drag it out, bring it up, about right there, right there, and right there, okay? Sketch dimension, we're going to give it 10 millimeters, okay? And from this line right here, we want to make it about 50 millimeters, okay? All right. Finish the sketch. I'm gonna use the revolve tool. Okay, we got that body selected. The axis. It's gonna be that axis right there. Operation is gonna be set to cut. We'll click OK. All right. And there you have it. Your grill fan. Well, that about wraps it up to this video. I hope you enjoyed this short exercise. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.